Let's take a moment now to go over some of the grammatical points that we're focusing on in today's lesson. Here we have the expression 订房间, to reserve a room. 订, or we could say 预定, to reserve in advance. 订房间, to reserve a room. Now rooms are usually 单人间, a single room, or 双人间. We could say 能帮我订一个房间吗? Can you help me reserve a room? Let's see how they use 订房间 in these dialogues. 小韩,你能帮我给王记者订一个房间吗? 没问题,他需要一个单人间还是双人间? 一个单人间. Okay, here's another pattern. This is the pattern using 被 to put a sentence in the passive voice. So, for instance, in saying 他拿走了, he took it away. You could say 被他拿走了, it was taken away by him. Puts it into the passive voice. It's a very useful pattern. Let's see how they use it in these dialogues. 可以把你的录音笔借给我用一下吗？我的被老王借走了。你的杯子刚才被我不小心给打破了，我给你买一个新的吧。哎，没关系，不用了。That will bring us to the end of today's lesson. Today we've been talking about a very important structure using 被 to make the passive voice. 他拿走了 would be he took it. 被他拿走了 that's it was taken by him. This is something you'll see quite frequently. We also talked about 订房间, to reserve a room, whether it be a 单人间, single room, or 双人间, a double room. Now, if you have any questions or you'd like to review any of the material we've covered to date, go to our website at english.cctv.com. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you here next time on Sports Chinese. Bye for now.